All right, did you guys catch Apple's announcement earlier? This is major for any automotive people. If you're in the automotive space or industry, listen to this. This has to be one of the most important announcements from Apple since the iPhone. I spent the last 15 years helping car dealerships create a better business online, learning from the best in the industry. The real question is, how can I help you do better in this fast-paced environment? This podcast is here to give you the answer. Join me as I explore, learn, and share marketing strategies you can apply in your store right now. My name is Mark, and welcome to the Autobahn Academy Podcast. Hey, what's going on? Mark here at Autobahn Digital. If you're new to the channel, first, I'd like to welcome you to the Autobahn Academy podcast. Here, I like to share what I learn about marketing and sales in the automotive industry. I don't have a set schedule for new episodes to come out, whether it's on YouTube or Spotify or Apple Podcasts. So to make sure you get notified the next time an episode comes out, make sure to click that subscribe button and notification bell as well. All right, so you guys, before I get into this, I must admit I'm not the biggest fan of any Apple, like Apple or any Apple products. For some reason, they're not made for me. But this doesn't mean I can't appreciate the hold they've got on their users and consumers. Apple over the years has become one of the most impressive and important companies on the entire globe. There's no easy way to put this. I think they overdid themselves with this announcement and i think they must be super excited about what's to come because obviously we don't know everything yet if you've missed it apple just announced they're looking to expand their ios to vehicles that's right the company that once was a music service is now getting involved in one of the biggest industries in the entire world back in 2019 tim cook presented the project titan and when he did they announced to the world apple is officially working on a car because before that it was all about rumors but now we know that it's actually coming i'm sure other car makers are keeping an, a close eye on what's going on with apple right now speaking of oems and the manufacturers there has been rumors that apple it will would be collaborating with uh, hyundai for the next car but at the same time they're also potentially working a deal with lg which i kind of see makes sense now because with the, with the latest announcement, and I'll share the video in a minute, what they've displayed is essentially a big screen ranging from, passenger, from the passenger side to the driver's side. So before I get into this, this has to be super exciting news for Apple shareholders. Apple is showing increased commitment into the automotive industry. And we all know how important that industry is for the global economy. And when you think about how Apple consumers and like the fan base of Apple works, you can bet this is going to be a vehicle in super high demand. All right, so let's take a moment to watch together uh, the announcement from Emily Schubert, the senior manager uh, car experience at Apple. Smarter, safer way to use your iPhone in the car and has fundamentally changed the way people interact with their vehicles. It's available on over 98% of cars in the U.S. What's more? 79% of U.S. buyers would only consider a car that works with CarPlay. All right. This is amazing because, one, 98%, like, 10 years ago, it wouldn't make sense. Like, any, like, cars would not have, like, any CarPlay or Android, okay? So that's one. And now U.S. buyers only consider CarPlay-capable vehicles. And I can say, imagine if you if you put like Android in the mix also, because these two operating systems do pretty much the same thing when you think about it, okay? There are difference, don't at me, don't like, don't go crazy in the comments or do go crazy, I don't care, it's okay. But what, I'm, what I mean to say is that once you've, you've gone, uh, you've bought a car, if you've owned a car with Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto, it kind of gets super important and super high in your list of nice things to have. And I must get this in my next car, right? So I can only expect this to still go up and they, you, you can bet they know that. It's a must have feature when shopping for a new vehicle. Our users love CarPlay. It gives them an easy way to use apps in the car using the familiar UI from their iPhone. But cars have changed a lot with larger size screens and more of them throughout the car. There's an opportunity for iPhone to play an even more important role. We've been working with automakers to reinvent the in-car experience across all of the driver's screens. 
Let's take a sneak peek at this next generation of CarPlay. Nice song. There's so much to explore here. Let's take a closer look. This next generation of CarPlay provides content for all the driver's screens, giving an experience that is unified and consistent. It's the very best of both your car and your iPhone. Like, I mean, like it's impressive UX, right? So amazing design as always, uh, as like with Apple, of course, cars, this is where we're going, like full screen, like the whole dash is going to be screens now. Um, we see them like being sold as a like, you know, the Escalade as a 37 inch screen, I think, whatever. You know, and it's only going to get bigger because it makes sense that cars are tr like transforming to be technological pieces versus what they really are. Because we've come to peak car, in my sense, in terms of the vehicle itself. Now it can be really improving far, like in, in terms of a UX or um, its operating system. And it goes beyond what you can do with CarPlay today. Deep integration with the car's hardware lets you tune your car's radio or change your temperature without ever leaving the CarPlay experience. It also includes widgets powered by your iPhone that fit your screens perfectly. They can live front and center in the gauge cluster as well, giving you information at a glance. In fact, this next generation of CarPlay powers your entire instrument cluster. To do this, your iPhone communicates with your vehicle's real-time systems in an on-device, privacy-friendly way, showing all of your... I love this because I'm thinking about two things. Like, Apple has gone to be uh, more, like, more uh, abrasive with privacy with third party, okay? So I'm talking about Facebook here, but it's it, it, it's it's true for others. And at the same time, I'm, I'm still wondering, like, who's going to repair those cars when this breaks? Because, like, Apple products are really solid, right? They don't break often on, unless you drop them, but that's different. I'm talking to the OS and bugs and stuff. I'm, I'm trying to think of dealers, you guys. What's going to be left to repair once we get electric cars? Because... We all know this is where it's going. Uh, the um, the Apple car will be an autonomous uh, electric vehicle for sure. So <laughs> there's a lot less components that can break because if this is one computer managing everything in the car, it's it's really different from like that BMW X5, which like over 50 computers, I think, uh, inside it. So there's less um, reasons to go into shop. So this is where like I'm thinking. Driving information like speed, RPMs, fuel level, temperature, and more. Okay, this is cool. Because, like, how relevant is, is it going to be? Like, I know it's a future, like, demo, but are we still going to get RPMs in the cars uh, in the future since it's going to be electric? Because, like, the, is it really relevant since it's all managed by computers? I don't know. And no matter what type of unique screen shapes or layouts you may have, this next generation of CarPlay feels like it was made specifically for your car. We're also excited to give you the ability to make the core of the driving experience unique to you. We carefully crafted instrument cluster options ranging from the modern to the traditional that use different colors, dial tones, and layouts to provide various looks and feels you can choose different curated themes and styles for your gauges. And automakers from around the world are excited to bring this new vision of CarPlay to customers. I, I, I'm wondering, like, if it's going to be the same operating system, is it going to be the same layout and same features across all brands? Because it, it can be a differentiator right now. Um, because some are really, really good at doing this and some are not. Um, you know, some are notorious for having problems with their interface, the way their OS is working. I'm looking at you guys, Land Rover, for the price. I mean, you are not in the game. And you know that. Everyone knows this. 
But at the same time, I'm just wondering if it's going to be a, you know, a differentiator, key differentiator between uh, automakers and models from now on. This is just a taste of what the next generation of CarPlay will bring. Vehicles will start to be announced late next year, and we can't wait to show you more further down the road. All right, this is amazing. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm looking forward to this. Like at the end of the video, she says um, we're gonna learn which vehicles are going to get this feature first. I'm guessing if you want to have like a nice display like the one we just had, we just saw um, models that will have to follow suit, right? Because you have to have like the hardware setup to 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 have this this kind of display. So I'm I'm curious which kind of car will be adapted because right now not it's not a one size fit all. That's for sure. Um, this is this is interesting, guys. Let me know. Uh, send me a message. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, if you're watching this on social media or YouTube, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. You like it? Do you, you don't? Um, if you're still not subscribed to the show or to the channel, please do so if you want to get the notifications when the next one um, go out. I really like to share what I learn in terms of marketing in the automotive space, a little bit outside, and um, you know. It's, um, it's a cool experience to see what's really coming and the impact it's going to have on our industry. So I'm Mark at Autobahn Digital, and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. I'm looking forward to doing the next content for you guys. Take it easy.